Hey everyone, this is Major Batman and Lakira Studios here to go over a new VR tutorial. If you don't already have Unity Hub 3.0, there's a new thing called VR Core. And so I've been playing around with it and I wanted to show you how to get it started in case you had any questions. In addition, one of my last videos um, that just reached a thousand views, which thank you very much, had very low audio and I think I fixed it. So let's do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project. We're gonna click VR and name it and then we're gonna create. So let it go. All right, so when you get started, you get this welcome welcome pop-up and it says you need to go into edit project settings and select your platform you plan to deploy to. So this is needed to test it. So within Unity, you can press the play and actually utilize it. So let's go to Edit, Project Settings, XR Plugin Management. And we're going to click on the Oculus. And I'm using the Oculus. You might be able to use one of these others. But I'm going to assume most of you will be using the Oculus as well. And then once you're done there, we're going to exit out of there. So let's see what, what's available. So in the sample scene, there's not much here. It's just a grid measured out, which is, which is fine. A directional light, a plane, which has a mesh collider, and an XR rig, which doesn't have really the XR rig components, so that's interesting. A camera, a right controller, and a left controller with the pose driver, and then a model. So this is holds all the different pieces to the model, so we can adapt those or animate them if we wanted to and we're not going to go into that today so not a lot before we get too far along I'm going to throw in a model of a Charizard that I had and I'm going to rotate him a little bit so I'm going to test this out so let's let's see give me a second so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my headset, I'm going to open up the Oculus Air Link, which will connect to my computer, and then when I press play within Unity, it should play on my headset. So we're going to, I'm going to press maximize on play, so it's good for viewing for you. Alright, so we can look around and we can see that there is a model in front of us, and then we can see that there is two controllers close they disappear and they don't really do anything but we're not going to do that today and we can't move at all and I'm getting a little lag all right but they're oriented correctly and they work so for our default VR project not too bad all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the package manager. You can up, update the XR plugin management if to 4.07. I just like to keep my stuff up to date. And then we're going to click on advanced here, advanced project settings, and we're going to click enable preview packages. You're going to say I understand. And we're going to close out of that. And then up here in packages, we're going to look at the Unity registry. And what we're looking for is the XR Interaction Toolkit. So you can see it here as, the, as Preview 6, and so that's what I'm going to install. It will ask you to restart, and this is due to changing the input APIs. So we're going to click Yes. All right, great. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to back to the XR Interaction Toolkit, and we're going to import the default input input actions. Perfect. All right. So we're going to go to our samples, XR Interaction Toolkit, open up our default interactions, and let's view these right here. So we're going to click on the left controller, and we're going to go up here and add to action base controller default. And we're going to do the same to the right controller. Next, we're going to go into project settings. We're going to go to the preset manager. And for the right and left, we're going to just type right and left. Easy enough. 
I think that's it, so let's open up our XR rig and let's get started on some changes. So on the XR rig, the first thing we want to add is an XR rig. And I think we might be able to adapt these. We have a camera offset here, so we might be able to put this here as a floor offset object and attach the camera game object. The next thing we're going to add is a locomotion system. And we're going to bring in the XR rig. Next, we're going to add an input action manager. And it has an empty list of action assets. So by importing those default input actions, this gives us a good starting point for a lot of VR work. You can of course customize it, change it how you want, but uh, for what we're doing, it's really easy to just get started and add one and bring in our default input actions. All right, then we're going to add a continuous move provider action based. And then we're going to add in the locomotion system here. You can change the speed. I like to about a 1.5. And then we're going to make it be on the left hand. We're going to change this to left hand move. The next we're going to add is a snap turn provider action based. And we're going to click use reference for right hand. And we're going to go over here to right hand turn. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the main camera. And we're going to change that clipping plane to 0.01 as it was a little too close beforehand. Then we're going to go to the right and left controller. Control click them both at the same time. And we're going to add in an XR controller action base to both of them. And so if we just click it, it automatically updates based upon that preset we've already set up. So with that, I'm going to go back in the game and we should be able to move and we should be able to turn. So we're in the game, we have our controller still working and we can bring them close to our face now, which is cool. And then we can move using the left joystick and we can snap turn with the right. And now we can see behind Charizard. And that my friends is how to set up a VR project rather simply and quickly. I hope this was informative, and if you like, please please leave a like and comment and perhaps subscribe. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.